<coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, <coughs> sorry about that, guys. I'm um, sorry, let me change my viewpoint here. Hey, guys, and welcome back to my world. Now, in my video yesterday, which uh, is now on the left hand corner over there, um, I did show you guys how to do a mobbed, uh, fully armored, fully uh, enchanted how to spawn a mob, summon a mob, and I used a player head, which was my head, Dinner Burns head, um, Seth Bling's head, and so forth. Now, um, what the good folk at Mojang has, has done is, they've actually extended the amount of mob heads that we now have available to use in our adventure map. So, um, in game, you have the following heads available. So you've got the creeper head, you've got the Steve head, you've got the zombie head, you've got the wither skeleton, and you've got the normal skeleton head. Okay, so these are the ones that is available in game at any time. But what the kind folks have done at Mojang is they've actually created real live players. Well, I mean, nobody's going to be playing with these players, but they've cr actually created user accounts and then gone and created their heads to uh, be the mobs in the game. Okay, so you can now actually use these heads in any of your uh, your your game your uh, mini games or your adventure maps and so forth. And they so if you use the head of a blaze, they will always they will always be ahead of a blaze. So I'm just going to show you what they've got. So they've got a blaze, they've got a cave spider, uh, they've got a chicken, they've got a cow, they've got an enderman, they've got a ghast. Hero Brian has made his return again, and apparently Hero Brian is an actual account. So, but this is a different account, but. There is an actual account. You've got a lava slime, a mushroom, uh, a normal piggy, uh, a, uh, a zombie pigman. You've got a sheep. We've got a slime. <laughs> We've got a spider, which I think looks quite scary, actually. I really do, don't like spiders. <laughs> we, uh, we have a, a squid, which I really actually like. This is, this is pretty damn cool. Um, then we've got a Squidworth, uh, not a Squidworth, we've got a Villager, <laughs> and we've got a, uh, a Iron Golem of the Villager. So these are the heads that is available for us to actually use. This will only work if you are, are on online. If you are not online, um, you will have a Steve head. They will all just be having Steve heads. Okay, so this is the, the mob heads, but what they've also done is they've given us a Cactus head, they've given, given us a Chest head, They've given us a uh, a a melon head. <laughs> They've given us a uh, wooden head, a pumpkin, uh, TNT. This is TNT version one, and this is TNT version two. Okay, which I think looks pretty cool. I mean, there's some amazing stuff we can do with this. Okay, and then as a bonus, they've given us an arrow, uh, an up arrow, down arrow, um, right left arrow, right arrow, oh, question mark. Oh no, that's exclam exclam exclamation mark and question mark. Sorry, I've swapped these two around. And then I just have a chest with all of these heads in them. So you can see here. So um, basically this is the 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 various heads that you can get. Okay. You'll see that the account actually all starts with MHF and then underscore and then what the actual head is. So there's Hero Brian's head, Cast's head, etc. etc. And of course you can wear any of these. So if if for example, let me show you. So if I am now wearing a chicken head so first of all bork, 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 bork. Hey, it's an aviator chicken hold on let me let me quickly do my uh let me just have a look look it's an aviator chicken bork, 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 bork. look chickens can fly <laughs> okay this is absolutely damn cool so yeah thanks thanks a lot guys for doing this for us this is absolutely spectacularly awesome okay so um what i've done is uh, i've actually done a i've compiled a list Okay, so once again, if you remember this, so let me just do you view, uh, zoom in on how to actually give yourself this, this uh, head. So check in the description below. Every one of these is in there. So I just have to copy and paste it. You can just literally just copy that. Okay, uh, control C, go into your chat, control V. Okay, and boom, there it is. Okay, so that's the way just to give yourself the head itself. Okay, so that is going to be in the description. Okay. And then um, what I'm also going to do is I'm actually going to just going to put the how to summon the mob. So let me just quickly put this in here as well. So you can actually see how to sub summon the mob and how to summon it with the head. Okay. Uh, and this one in this case is the arrow, the arrow head. Right. Is it all in the description? Yeah, guys. So, I mean, there's nothing really to it. It's um, I did cover this in my last thing. It's just if you give it, you just use skull owner. If you add it to a mob, though, you do need to add it to the head 
uh, slot in their equipment. So under where it says equipment, as I said before, first one is hands, second one is legs, third one is um, oh, sorry feet, uh, third one is, uh, is legs, fourth one is chest, and the fifth one is the head. You need to give it a damage value of three so that it specifies that it's a player head. The ID for the player head, and then the tag, and then the skull owner, and then this is where you would then put in um, all of the tags or this name over there. Uh, this is also actually, if you go to, if you actually, I've taken it away. If you go, if you actually go to the um, wiki, I will also put that link in there. Uh, under the play, under the, the skulls or the heads, uh, there's full explanation of it there as well. Okay, cool, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This is a pretty quick, quickish update, but uh, this is fantastic, and yeah, definitely going to be using this in all the mini games moving forward, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I will check you all later.